Hi guys, it's Gerga here. Today we're gonna explore how to get a very cool trail running shoe visualization out of a very simple line drawing. So first of all, I just uploaded a sneaker image and I will do the key lines just catching over this image to capture the main proportions and just the sort of silhouette of this running shoe and then I hide it after that. What I can also do is to import a shoe last 3D model. You can also find it in the pre-uploaded library of Fiscom, so feel free to use it as a guidance. So I can just place it on the canvas and I can display it below the sketch with lower opacity. I can finish up the details of my sketch and making sure that I'm still working on proportion. So that's what I'm doing here, just finishing off some of the details on a sketch. After that, I can hide the shoe last and I can start constructing a basic prompt description. This first rendering will be just to establish the three dimensionality of this sketch. So it's a running shoe performance professional and I wanted to emphasize the word yellow a little bit. So I put a prompt weight on it. You can read more about prompt weighting and how to use them in the documentation. But here I just wanted to put a little bit more emphasis on the word yellow. And after that, this is the main point, let's upload a reference image. I can upload as many reference images as I want in the library and I can click through and select whichever I want to use at the moment. So I want to create a trail running shoe, so I choose this rugged aesthetic reference image. And what I have to do is to click on the selection tool, click Ctrl A in order to apply it to the entire canvas and I'll click on generate while I'm in Viscom general. And this way I'll have a very photorealistic and creative interpretation of this entire scene influenced by the reference image, but I could give it enough context with the prompt that I want to create a running shoe that it will understand it. Now I can use this other rugged mountainy image as well. And this will actually give me some very nice background at this low reference image strength here. And I actually like the upper part on the first image. So what I can do is I can utilize the selection to just cut this part and I can find this copy selection to layer and I can just move it up like this. And I can also just quickly fix details with the eraser to reveal the background a bit more. After that, I can just go detail by detail, select every part and I can assign custom materials to it, just like this uploaded seashell image here, which would be another like rugged reference image for this sneaker midsole. For the outsole, um, I'm gonna upload a proper material swatch. This will be a cork image, and I can just also explore some uh, with this uploaded material. That is actually a very nice touch that it kind of try to match the color to the actual laces as well. And after I created this, I noticed that the background and some of the colors are overly harsh. So what I'll do is I composite with the layers. I just bring it down. I want to make the background very subtle. So I set it to multiply and I lower on the opacity. And this way I can get a very nice and subtle blend. And the focus will be on the uh, shoe itself. I can just click on export in a PNG. And by the way, at any rendering, you can click on generate 3D. It will understand the main object, it will separate it from the background and so you can just have this as the, the pure uh, shoe 3D model on the canvas. Let's just isolate this layer by clicking Alt or Option on the keyboard and let's set up different positions because I can just simply duplicate this 3D model, I'm able to set up very quickly these different views. After that, I can head to refine mode where it's going to keep the colors. It will just introduce some fidelity back. What I can also do is to go back to render and apply the previously used reference images uh, to retain a, a sort of aesthetic or get close to, a, to, the, to the aesthetic of the previously achieved final rendering. Something like this can give us back that rugged aesthetic, but here the main goal is to kind of just communicate the shape, proportions and the silhouette of the shoe. And for that reason it will be completely perfect, so I can just download this as a PNG as well. Alternatively, I can also export the 3D model in many different formats. I'll just export it out as a GLB this time, 
and I can also bring it into any 3D modeling software if I want to use it as a reference. So essentially this was the workflow of quickly turning a line drawing into a photorealistic trail running shoe visualization in Viscom. Feel free to try out this workflow and let me know what you think. Have a good one!